Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Vivo. In this video, we're gonna take a look at percent problems that involve discounts. So the main goal with this video and its lesson is how do I solve ratio and percent problems involving discounts? So the only vocabulary we need to know for this lesson is what is a discount or otherwise known as a markdown. And this is the amount by which the regular price of an item is reduced. The sale price is going to be the original price minus the discount. And if we're asked to find the percent of discount, this is a percent of decrease, which we talked about in a previous video on percent of change. So check that out if you need a reminder on how percent of change works. But percent of decrease is going to actually be the same exact formula that we used for that lesson. All right, example one. This one says Summer Sports is having a sale. A volleyball has an original price of $59. It is on sale for 65% off the original price. What is the sale price of the volleyball? So just like previous videos, I have shown you how to solve these types of percent problems in one step or two steps. And we actually can do the same thing with discounts. So I will show you how to solve this in two steps first, and then I'll show us how we can actually solve this in one step and get our final price right away. Now, also mentioned in previous videos, with all these percent problems, we can use a percent proportion or a percent equation. I'm going to use a percent equation for all of these examples because it is a quicker method to calculating our final answers. However, it is totally okay to use a percent proportion if that is the method that you feel comfortable with. So essentially, when you use a proportion, you're just not having to change your percent into its decimal form. We would have to do some cross products and then divide to find our final answer. Again, totally an okay uh, way to solving these types of problems, but I'm going to use the equation just because again, they are, it is a quicker method to solving these percent problems. All right, so taking a look at this, again, we're trying to find that sale price. So what I'm going to do when I solve this in two steps is essentially I'm going to figure out the amount of the discount and then subtract that from the original price. So when I'm taking a look at this, again, my original price of $59, that is going to be W, and then my discount was 65% off. So A is going to equal 6,500. So again, I take my percent and change it into its decimal form if I am choosing to use the equation, and then I'm multiplying that by the $59. That is going to give us a discount amount of $38.35. Again, not my final answer. That is the amount that is being taken off of the original price. So to figure out what is the sale price, we're gonna take $59 and we're gonna subtract $38.35. This is going to give me my final answer of $20.65. So that is how much we are paying for that volleyball after the 65% discount. If we're going to solve this in one step, Essentially, we have to remember that if you are having the original price, that is the 100% amount, you are then taking off 65% of that value. And so what you're left paying is 35% of the original price. So we can again use the fact that we're paying the 100%, but now we're taking off 65% of that price and we're left paying 35% of the original price. So if I go through and use my equation, a equals P times W, we're going to use 35% instead, again, 3,500 as a decimal. And if we multiply that by $59, we're going to find our final answer in one step. So 3,500 times 59 is going to tell me $20.65. That is my final sale price. So again, a really nice strategy, especially if you're trying to be more efficient with solving these percent problems, doing this in one step by again, using the fact that you're paying 35% of the original price after the discount. All right, so let's try this again with a second example. So this one says a magazine subscription has a cover price of $35. Amanda received an offer for 67% off the cover price. What is the sale price of the magazine subscription? So I will once again show us how to solve this in two steps, and then I will also so show us how to solve this in one step. So equation A equals P times W. My original price is W, and then my percent off, in this case, is 67%. So that is the discount that I'm getting. 
So if I set this up and we're solving it in two steps, I'm going to do 67 hundredths times the $35. And we're going to find that the amount that I'm getting off of that price is $23.45. Again, that is just the amount of discount, not the final answer. So we're going to find the sale price by taking my $35, the cover price, minus the $23.45, and that is going to tell me my sale price, which is $11.55. All right, so that's solving it in two step. Again, we figured out how much of a discount we're getting and then subtract that from the original price. If we're gonna solve this in one step, we're gonna use the fact that, again, it's 100%, that's the original price. We're getting 67% off of that. So we're taking away the 67% and we're left paying 33% of the original price. So I can set up my equation using that percentage instead, again, written as a decimal form if I'm using the equation, and that is going to tell me my answer right away. So if we do 33 hundredths times 35, we end up with the answer of $11.55. And that's it for that example. All right, so we're gonna take a look at one more example, which is gonna be on combined discounts. This problem states that during a clearance sale at an electronics store, certain tablets were marked down 20%. One day, an additional 30% was taken off already reduced prices. A tablet originally sold for $375. What was the final price after both discounts were applied? So we're gonna go through and find the sale price after the 20% discount first. So A is gonna equal the 20 hundredths, or two tenths in this case, is the decimal form of that 20%, multiplied by 375. When we do that, we're gonna find that the amount off was $75. So if we do 375 minus the 75, we find out that that was $300. Um, after the 20% discount. Again, we could solve this in one step. So if we were gonna solve this in one step, we would use the fact that again, if you're getting a 20% discount, you're left paying 80% of the original price. So we can do eight tenths multiplied by 375, and we're gonna find that $300 right away. So either way that you do that, you're gonna find that sale price again after the 20% discount. So now we're gonna find the final price by again taking now the 30% off and that was already off of the reduced price that we just found in step one. So we're gonna figure out again in one step or two steps, totally up to you. If we're gonna figure it out in two steps, we're gonna figure out what 30% or 3 tenths of $300 is, which is going to be $90. And so my final sale price is gonna be the $300 minus 90 and that gives us our final answer of $210. Now, again, if I was gonna do this in one step, we would use the fact that, all right, well, now I'm getting a 30% off discount, so I'm left paying 70% of that $300 price. So if I do 7 tenths multiplied by 300, again, you find your answer right away, so $210. So same thing, just a slightly different method to getting that final result. But essentially, the biggest mistake that students make with this is that they try to do 20 plus 30 to say, oh, we get 50% off, and that's not the case, right? 50% off of 375 is going to be $187.50, which is a bigger discount than you're actually getting on this. So we have to figure out, again, the price after the first discount, and then take that and find the percent off of that to find our final sale price. So there are multiple steps you have to take when you have a combined discount. All right, so that's it for finding the price after a discount. Make sure you check out the next video for more help with discounts.